Howdy folks, today we're going to teach you how to make some piranha masks. Here are the materials you're going to need. One pipe cleaner, drawing supplies to sketch out your idea, and a marker to make measurements and sketch out ideas on the cardboard. You need tools to cut the cardboard apart. I prefer a box cutter and a pair of scissors, a box cutter for the big cuts, scissors for smaller details. It's got to be a pair of scissors you don't mind getting busted up a little bit. You're going to need some duct tape or painter's tape if you don't have it to assemble your project. You might need a ruler to cut out some straight edges. And also, so you don't cut up your table, you may want to make yourself a cutting mat. And I have taped a couple pieces of cardboard together in the corners. Bop, bop. So that we can rip and, and cut and tear into our cardboard as needed and it's not going to mess up your table. And finally, a stash of cardboard. Before we start building, you want to draw out your character a couple times, find something that is entertaining to you that you're that you're feeling. And in this case, Nat drew a bunch of drawings, and we went with that one. Next, you want to take that drawing and turn it into a cardboard profile. In this case, we're doing it without the jaw first. It can be any size, but we're doing about 24 inches wide and about 20 inches tall. Then you want to trace the shape you've cut out so you have two of them. If you don't have cardboard big enough, you can cut two pieces with a clean edge, put them together. Now we're going to cut out a rectangular strip and it's going to be kind of the front and top of the piranha and it's going to separate the two sides, giving a little space and making it look three-dimensional. So it's going to be six inches wide, but then how long should the strip be? Well, to figure that out we can actually take a piece of string and run it around the perimeter from the back of the piranha where it's going to be pinched together all the way around to the inside of the top jaw. Take that string and run it along one of the long edges of the cardboard strip that's going to be the front and top of the piranha and trim it at the end of that string. Take a sharpie and draw straight lines from the corners on one side of the strip to the center on the other side of the strip, which is going to give you an elongated triangle that you can then cut out. Before you attach the two sides of the prong to the triangle shape, take the triangle shape and run it kind of hard against an edge of a table, right? And that's going to make it more flexible and easy to wrap around the curved form of the piranha. Then begin attaching the sides of the piranha. A little extra tape can help keep the form tight. Now we're going to make the jaw. So take another rectangular strip, put it inside the fish, trim any extra so it fits nice and neat into the mouth of the piranha. Poke two holes about here, put the jaw back into the fish, and poke again to make sure the holes line up. A little extra duct tape support is always helpful. Lock the jaw to the piranha with a pipe cleaner. Trim each side of the jaw with a curve to give it a more realistic look. You can trace the piece you cut out on one side on the other side to keep it symmetrical. Then cut sharp teeth. Cut out a flat tail shape and tape it on both sides. On a smaller flat piece of cardboard, trace the side of your piranha draw a fin, and then cut it out to attach on top. Give your piranha two symmetrical fins to swim with. Tape these fins on, and then you're ready to paint it. 